When Michigan takes the field this year, it will mark the first time in better than two decades that a pair of men who helped mold Michigan football won't be with the team coaching. Jerry Hanlon and Terrell Burton, with 45 years of combined service as assistant coaches at Michigan, have both moved to the Development and Alumni Relations Office. And while they both will miss coaching, these two standouts look forward to a less time-consuming role. I'm going to miss the association with the kids. Uh, the actual coaching and the inner re reactions with all the players I've been around, I'm going to miss that more than anything else. But you've got to understand there's more to coaching football uh, than actual on-the-field coaching. There's recruiting, there's organization, there's practice organization, there are uh, a lot of other things that go into it. And I think uh, as you get 60 years old or a little older, uh, your energies in that regard are a little bit less than they used to be. Uh, I would, I'm still fired up about coaching physically. Uh, Health-wise, I could still go on. But I think you've got to make a decision that you're not going to coach forever. And uh, if you can make that decision and, and make a transition the uh, way I've been able to do it, I think you're fortunate. It was a combination of things where I thought it better me start spending a little more time with my family, trying to enjoy them a little bit more. And as you know, I've got a new granddaughter, boy, and she's, she's being able to spend time with her has just been, uh, of all the things, that's really helped me a great deal and, and uh, made this a, a very easy transition. Hanlon has been known for years as one of the best offensive line coaches in the country. He's produced numerous All-Americans. But don't ever forget that he was the quarterback coach for five years, and it just so happened that Hanlon was the mastermind behind the Jim Harbaugh years, something he takes great pride in. Chem Becker says I'm the second best line coach because he says he was always the first. Uh, I do take pride in... in in uh, having uh, something to do with Jimmy Harbaugh a little bit, and I hope I did, and I hope Jimmy feels that way. And My dad was a coach. I knew a little bit about football, but uh, from Jerry, I learned uh, you know, just a heck of a lot about football. Um, other than that, Jerry and I, our relationship on the field, um, you know, it was one of mutual, um, you know, he'd be yelling at me, I, sometimes I'd be yelling at him, but you know, in the end, I mean, it just a love and real um, admiration for Jerry Hanlon. I mean, that's, that's what I left Michigan with. And um, I respect him and uh, what he gave me as far as football knowledge and, uh, you know, a, a, a preparedness each week to play football. I mean, um, it's meant a tremendous amount to my career, and, and I don't think I'd be where I am today without Jerry Hanlon. While Harbaugh's sentiments are well taken, I for one speak for the offensive line. He was as good as they get with the big guys up front. And All-American Paul Seymour will tell you one of the main reasons why. I think it's because he cared. And uh, uh, guys were willing to uh, put out for him and, and wanted to perform for him. And, uh, and uh, Jerry's just that kind of guy that you really, uh, you really want to put out for the guy. Coach Hanlon isn't the only one that garners praise from his former players. Coach Burton spent some time with an awful lot of great running backs. He produced his share of winners also, and one of them was Jared Bunch. Coach Burton taught us uh, a lot as far as not just on the field. You know, uh, the guy was never looked his age. He, was all, he always ran with us. He always told us as running backs, we're supposed to be the leaders of the team. Uh, we, we're get him, given a lot of responsibility when uh, the team gives us the ball to carry it, and it's up to us. i tell you what, when he's gone, a lot of people are going to miss him. Another point about these two is the respect and warmth for them felt by the players and coaches. Affection comes in many forms, and these two are not above being kidded at times by their star pupils. For one thing, too, I know when I'm going this way, I got a key to tackle, key to blocking back. I got to run this way, run that way, okay? Take it easy. <laughs> There's one coach that will be out with the guys until the last minute. I mean, until he has to go home, and that's Jerry Hammond. And that's the kind of guy he is. He loves the players, and he loves the guys to come back and see him. And, and uh, he is the one guy that will come out and, and actually party with the guys and hang right in there with us. It, he'll be the last guy to leave. But these two greats, and we don't use the term lightly, will be sorely missed for a lot of reasons. But their legacies to Michigan, in their own words, revolve around the kids they worked with. Jamie is one of my favorites, no doubt. I go back to Rob Lytle, who I think is one of the greatest backs I've ever been around. Tough, all-around guy. Uh, there have been Ralph Clayton and Jimmy Smith and, and Butch Woolfolk and, and Gil Chapman and, and on and on and on. And this crop that we have here now, I mean... Uh, they're in a finer bunch of guys, Jesse Johnson and Tyrone Wheatley and, and Ricky Powers. 
uh, Bernie Leggett, the, the present crop, I mean, they're just great. And that's, that was the tough part of the decision because you get very close to those guys. Uh, you, you, you try to motivate them, you learn from them, they learn from you, and that's the reward in coaching, as you know. Of all the things I've ever wanted to do with kids, I would hope that they knew that I had a tremendous respect for them, that uh, if you're going to coach, you got to love kids. And I would hope that most of the guys that I've coached, or all of them, know that whenever I did anything, I always wanted to do it for their best interest. And uh, I'm not sure that's always true because I'm, I know that there's times there's ego things get involved and, and you don't always do what you hope that you do. And the second thing is, and I've been preaching this to everybody and coaches and kids and everybody else, that if we could all learn to do what is right. And if I could remember that I hope that I tried to do what was right uh, that would probably be the greatest legacy I could have. And uh, that's what I try to preach to the kids and everybody else, too. Those two guys did a lot of work at the University of Michigan. They combined 45 years in the maids and blue. And I know, Mo, you coached a lot of years with those guys. You probably learned a few things from them. Oh, there's no question about that, Jim. And I think the one thing that uh, I'll always remember, not only am I losing a fellow coach and both of those people, but the fact that friends as well. And that's what you have to become when you work with someone so long and you have that kind of relationship. But, you know, coaching is teaching, and that's one thing that they could do, and I think that's the best part. They are not going to be with you on the sideline, but they will be in the athletic department. And I know that's kind of pleasant for you because they're going to be around. It's not like they're going away forever. Exactly. They're not leaving us, Jim. They're just they're in a new capacity. They obviously won't have the interaction with the rest of the staff but they still will always remain a part of football. And you know Hanlon's going to be drawing up plays sooner well, or later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they all they may suggest a few things and either holler them down or send them down during the game. But, uh, well, they've called some plays in the past, and, and uh, they know what they're doing. It's sure is going to be tough working without them, but, uh, you know, life goes on, and the University of Michigan has three new assistant coaches that are coming on board who are going to generate some new life in the Wolverine program. Don't go away. We'll meet them when we come back on Michigan Replay.